Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you for our time together. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of Joshua, chapter 1. I want to begin reading with verse 16. This is the people accepting Joshua as their new leader. Then they answered Joshua, Whatever you have commanded us, we will do, and wherever you send us, we will go. Just as we fully obeyed Moses, so we will fully obey you. Only may the Lord your God be with you as he was with Moses. Whoever rebels against your word and does not obey your words, whatever you command them will be put to death. Only be strong and courageous. Now, there's three things I want you to see there. Three expectations that God's people have of their God-given leaders. I didn't say of false prophets and everybody else, but this is what the people of God expect of a leader that God has given them. Number one, God be with you. In other words, as leaders, our walk with God, our personal relationship with God is the most important thing we can bring to the table. It's not our skills, it's not our ability, it's not our X factor or it factor or our our guapo factor. The most important thing we bring to the people of God is that God is with us. So number one, prayer, meditation, worship, read the word, your personal relationship with God. The second expectation is that you be strong. You you can't bow to to everybody who wants to push you around as a leader. Now, Paul teaches us some very important truth in Corinthians and Romans both, especially in Romans. He teaches us that strong people aren't usually the controlling people. It's the weak people that are controlling. Paul identified himself in Romans as one of those that was strong. But he said, listen, you can't be controlled. Now, the strong people have their own problem. They tend to look with disdain upon the weak. But it's the weak people that are very, very controlling because my feelings are hurt or you stumbled me or this or that. They said, no, no, we want you to be strong. And lastly, we want you to be courageous. In the face of opposition, in the face of challenges, in the face of problems, they need to know that they have a leader that will run to the battle, not run away from the battle. No people power among the people of God. Sorry, no people power among God's people. God's people expect their leader to lead them into battle. They expect courage. They expect strength. And they expect a man or a woman that God is with.